All right. So, okay, let's get started. Uh, welcome to today's stand up. And uh, we'll be having discussions off record about what has, um, how is the break specifically. But also, let's go around the table again and share how was the break? Uh, did you manage to rest or were you still applying? And then you share us in regards to different weekly coding challenges that have been shared. Did you manage to work on majority of them? That's the second question. And also the third question is, uh, any, any updates you want to share with us so far? Any interview, any, um, any interest that has been sent your way, or anything new in regards to the applications that we are currently doing. So yeah, we are going to go, I can still start randomly. Um, Rodolphe, you can still start. Okay, good. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to start. <laughs> so uh, during the, the break, uh, I didn't apply for a job. Um, rather, I was watching a lot of videos on RAG, how to, to build a, a strong and advanced RAG, especially also a multimodal RAG. So, I'm seeing a lot of different techniques people are using. And uh, I was also watching things regarding agents because uh, uh, when it comes to, to RAG and LLM application, agents are using agent mm, making more sense and giving relevant results. So it is uh, the, 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 the start of the app actually. So I was watching things regarding that one. Um, this is what I did during the break. Apart from that, I, I watched some videos and sleep and do other tasks. Yeah, those are personal tasks. So when it comes to the interest, um, um, I was a little bit interested by uh, uh, ro robotic uh, process automation because I, I received uh, an offer. Uh, no, no, I didn't receive an offer, but I received uh, an assignment about that. So I was a little bit interested on that, but I'm more focused on generative AI. So my interest didn't really change. Now, when it comes to to the the challenge, uh, the weekly challenge, I didn't do many of them because before doing any of the assignment, you need to understand the concepts, and the concepts are not easy. That's the point. So. For instance, when you, you, you start to one, they will tell you, you need to understand, uh, let me say, for instance, when you want to, to work with, uh, uh, I would say, a queue or stack, maybe they will say, yeah, you need to understand, first of all, trees before going to these, just an example. So then you need to go over there to learn that before coming and do the weekly challenge. So it is a little bit hard. That's why I didn't really move on on that. So in general, I don't know if I have answered all of your questions. If it yeah. remains one, you can tell me. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, okay, totally understandable. So I have like two questions, starting with the opportunity you got in robotics. So is it the company that has the name robotics or the role is focused on more robotic thing? Can you clarify? Uh, okay, no, this is not the company that names like that. No, it is the, the technology. I mean, in the technology is you, you program, okay? You program mm -hmm. and what the, the program will do, the, pro, the program will 
maybe you have some some frequent tasks that you perform every day, for instance. And there maybe there are some times they they take a lot of time from you. So that program will go and perform those tasks for you one by one. So when you launch the program, we will perform those tasks for you automatically. So you, ju you just need to, to tell the program what it will do. Maybe uh, go to web these websites. After going to these websites, click on this uh, button. After click on this button, you will find this page. Uh, maybe uh, copy this uh, and do that for me. Save it in this file. Serious. Something like that. Uh, okay yeah yeah it's not like a robo uh, robot uh, robotics uh, with a mechanic uh, and no no it's not something like that <laughs> oh okay totally understand yeah. it now i understand why you do have much interest in it okay makes sense and also uh on this second question talking about um uh talking about the challenges that you haven't managed to advance on uh because of uh the 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 difficulty in understanding the context are you did you try to work on them with someone else from your group or any of your fellows from the cohort uh, honestly no because uh i don't know this time it's difficult to 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 meet people or to schedule things with people <laughs> i don't know why but it's a little bit difficult but i will try i will try again maybe uh you see how how, how busy a little bit even is and uh it, it is just an example so so we all are a little bit busy about something maybe album but he loves, uh he he will be a little bit busy and something like uh, like that, you know. But I will try. I will try. I will try. Yeah, you can try because you know, still looking at um. You remember the other guest talk, uh, with our guest Kevin. Was it Kevin or Ken? Kevin. Yeah, when you told us like to, to really navigate this successfully, like when you see that it's taking time, it's better to have someone who you are holding each other accountable and helping each other throughout the way. So yeah, try look for someone who is also still uh is still motivated, like really highly motivated, so that you can take this journey together really it will help so much it will save so much time of you just trying to understand things by yourself um yeah it will save that time so but you are on the right track so keep it up to uh we already have other weekly challenge let me check Yeah, it should have been shared so far. Can I confirm actually that you received it? This week's coding challenge. I don't think I received it. Okay. Let me check. Then we have an answer shortly. Okay, we can go on to Abraham. Addis. Uh, hey, Pascaline. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, so uh, last week was great. Uh, I have taken a, a restful, I spent a restful weekend. Um, I uh, got a very good uh, sleep. Uh, I, I go out and catch up with my friends. Uh, I haven't applied for any jobs uh, last week and uh, I just uh, simply constantly check my email if there is any update, which is nice. And um, uh, and I have make a, a small uh, progress on uh, the uh, data engineering course that I have enrolled. Uh, 
yeah, I mostly spend uh, uh, my weekend just like this. And uh, regarding the coding challenge, to be honest, I haven't uh, made much progress on the coding challenge because uh, the code that I have enrolled, uh, it has its own coding challenge and I just uh, mostly stick to that. But I will make sure uh, to, uh, to review the coding challenge again and work, work on uh, the area that I haven't covered on the course. Yeah. This is uh, this is it for my end, basically. Okay, uh, that's great. Of course, last week you didn't have to focus on just applying because it was a break week. Yeah. Um, Okay, but still this week, we are going to be, of course, focusing on working on the challenge um, that will be allocated to us. I'm just reaching out to others to understand when we are receiving it. Or something I'm also realizing, we, as as majority of us, even haven't had the opportunity to work on the previous challenges. What do you propose can be improved? from the way we are sharing these challenges. Do we want technical tutors to go through them with us? Do we need, uh, I mean, like, what do you propose actually? Uh, Any mm -hmm. Well, I, I I suggest maybe if we, tell, if we tailor the coding challenges to the career path we should, I mean, that would be a great. Um, for example, uh, so one thing that I, as I have mentioned earlier, so uh, mm -hmm. uh, the proficiency in SQL is a key uh, in data engineering. And I think most of the challenge that is shared doesn't cover the SQL uh, things, if I'm not mistaken. And me personally, I am just uh, uh, looking to enhance my uh, SQL uh, uh, skill and uh, Maybe like if we share a lead to the specific fields that we choose, that would be uh, great. Just in a, just for an All right, yes. makes sense. I've wrote that down. Okay, Tim, any other idea? <clears throat> Not really. Okay, anyone else you have an idea of how we can improve these coding challenges? Alexander, Rodolph, Yvonne, Astrala, Gennett. All right, Rodolph. Okay, I, I think it might be good to, to have some future sometime regarding the technical Challenges in my head because sometimes we have, as I, I was saying, you have some questions, and maybe someone who have um, an experience in in how to navigate in those challenges can tell us, ah, oh, this is the way, uh, this is my understanding, this is the way uh, I was doing. It, it might it might help a lot. So yeah, it's a good idea to have some tutorial sometime on that. Now, uh, uh, mm -hmm. there is another thing I would like to to add or to comment. I don't know for for the past uh, weekly challenges. For me, I didn't finish all of them. I was I was saying. So, um, how shall I do? Uh, shall I continue with the, the new one or go back to do what I didn't do before? How how it should be? Exactly, that was my question as well. Like bringing another challenge, even when the past ones haven't been completed, you know, uh, it's, still, it's still an issue, it's, it's still a complicated issue. But I understand, I understand uh, where the blockers are coming from, like not having so much context. 
so that way we need to be having tutorial sessions and also having the challenges allocated according to the tracks that everyone chose so that you can be doing you know aligned exercises you know so okay i've wrote that down it thank you for the feedbacks i'll be sharing with the team okay all right alexander do you want to share with us how was the break and um is there any updates any interviews i know that you did one interview uh in the past past week so any updates um and also any updates on the challenges that have been shared so far okay thank you i will share uh good morning everyone good morning good morning uh, good morning awesome. okay uh last week was very interesting week for me uh i enjoy it by meeting my friends and my, visiting my families uh it was interesting for me uh, totally that was uh, when it come to the application uh even though there is, there is a week, I apply number of jobs, more than 30 jobs. I try to apply it. Uh, when it comes to the updates regarding to last, uh, before two weeks interview, there was not uh, successful. I don't understand due to whatever uh, situations we can proceed with you. So, I totally accept that, uh, but uh, I have I had one interview with uh, someone we, after applying the jobs in uh, two days. The hiring manager gave me an assessment, and I totally passed the assessment. And he gave me another chance for doing another assessment. After that, uh, he didn't contact me still now. Uh, it is all, uh, almost one week ago because I am not confident in that. Uh, or I have not full information to share that for you uh, because uh, as soon as I playing the joke, he contact me and share a challenge doc and uh, after completing the challenge doc, uh, he gave me another challenge document and then uh, he didn't contact me still now. So regarding to the uh, uh, job application one is this, the other one is when uh, my application is passed for one, some job applications are uh, there uh, in the assessments are the main criteria in the job application, some others are after uh, first uh, recruitment process, the second is online assessment. So when uh, with data analysis, there was a data analysis job. Uh, when I begin the test, unfortunately the power is out or there's, there was a uh, power cut. So after two hours, the power is uh, coming. When I contact him, you have no second chance. So I am waiting one uh, result regarding to the challenge document. This is totally my update. Uh, okay. When it comes to the challenge document, which is given by Ken Academy, I am not uh, doing well on that because uh, I'm doing the challenge doc relating to the job application that given by the manager. So I plan to do much more in this week, but from this week, the Zetin Academy Challenge. This is all about my credit. I am waiting for the results from the second challenge doc that I have done. All right, that's it. So uh, do you think we can actually so how, how long has it been since those companies reached out to you? I mean, since you submitted the last assignments. Yeah, yeah. 
how many how long has it been is it been like a week or days yeah, yeah. he promised me uh contact me after 72 hours or within three days but it uh, almost uh, it it is five days mm -hmm. yeah so. i'm thinking that we can actually i'm thinking that you can email him um uh, asking for any updates and still showing your interest into joining the company on that specific role uh, today i will uh, I, I, I... yeah absolutely you can follow up really okay okay today i, I do that okay of course remember to when following up uh, of course remember to sh still show interest not just to look for updates but just to show interest that you are still interested in joining the company. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, Nasrallah. Good morning. Okay, Nasrallah, I'm not sure I heard what you want to mean. Please share the details in the chat box if you are not able to speak. Then can we hear from Gennett? Gennett, you say that you did an interview, and of course I remember you were preparing for the interview. How was it? Can you just give us the details? We understand it was good, but can you share us the details and uh, what's the progress so far? Did they get back to you? Are you still waiting or do you have an assignment you are working on? How is it? And in the meantime, as they write in the chat box, Yvonne, um, okay, Yvonne has been sharing us how she and other Friends are starting a new startup. Actually, Yvonne, do you want to share with everyone about it again? Hello, everyone. How are you? I hope you are good. So, uh, these past few weeks, two weeks, three, I, I really don't know, have been busy. I know I haven't been around. Uh, there is a startup we are trying to start and we're trying to put it on its feet so that is where most of my time was going to uh, i know i haven't been active i haven't been doing the challenges i think the last one i submitted was three weeks ago or two weeks ago i really don't remember but uh, that's where my time has been going to it's not that big but we're trying we're trying to make it start working by itself that's on my side i hope that uh by this week i will try and do the challenges and also i want to shift to machine learning because that is what i do most of my time yes okay. alexander Alexander has a question for you no 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 for, for you okay. for not for okay. okay okay thank you Okay, thank you. Okay, can I continue, Pascal? Yes, you can continue. Okay. Uh, in the due publication, uh, there is a that ask, uh, ask us a desired is it, what is your desired salary or what your expected salary. Mm -hmm. uh, so during some companies are uh, restricted their uh, the, the roles the salary. So the, we have a chance to put our desired salary between uh, them, what, is, what they put, 
በት ሳማር ሳማዘር ሳብኖ ወይኒ ፖይንት ሪጋርዲንግ ቱ ዘ ሳላሪ በት ዘያስ ሚ ቱ ፑት ማይ ዲዛየር ሶ ዋት ኢዝ ዘ ፋቮሬብል ዋን ኦር ካን አይ ሰርች ኦን ዘ ካምፓኒስ ዋት ኢፕ አይ ኦር ዋት ኖት ኢፍ ዩ ጀነራሊ ጀነራሊ ዌን ዴይ ሜንሽን ዘ ሳላሪ ብራኬትስ ዴን ዩ ኖ ዩ ሃቭ ቱ ሜሽር ሰምቲንግ ሰምቲንግ ዳ ኢዝ ኢን ዳት ሬንጅ ዴ ሜንሽንድ ላይክ ዩ ሴድ ዌን ዴ አር ስትሪክት ኢን ዴ ሜንሽን ዴ አማውንትስ ዳ ዴ አር ጎይንግ ቱ ቢ ኦፈሪንግ ሶ ኦፍ ኮርስ ዩ ሜንሽን ሰምቲንግ ክሎስ ቱ ዳ አማውንት ኦር ዳት ኤግዛክት አማውንት but if they did not mention any amounts and you are supposed to be the one to fill your expected salary then for an international role i would go for a 1500 usd because it's an international remote role and it's a starting kind of entry role but still it's a technical role so a 1500 is fair but if it's a local company or a company that operates in small um developing countries for instance like pakistan like we see many roles from from pakistan those kind of roles but that comes from different like developing countries or even local countries within your own country i would rather go for a thousand usd yeah okay okay thank you thank you yeah yeah um that's part of the uh that's part of the general brackets we saw while doing the research on how much um amount goes to international employees remote employees especially in your trucks so yeah for the international role that works for but for the local roles a smaller amount like a thousand is so much fair yeah thank you yeah no problem all right i uh, can it say it he took the interview and he's looking for the results today or tomorrow all right all the best can it uh i'll be following up with you on how the results came out all right oh uh, so let's go ahead and enjoy our day the challenge documents will be shared today but still i passed your idea adis let's see if the technical team does something about it um and also let's see if we we'll be having different tutorials around these challenges that are being shared so yeah uh have a great day and uh all the best in everything we are doing and of own we are so happy for you and all the best in that journey but still we look forward to be having you active in the job search phase yeah it's so important we've been here for this so we can adjust quit on the very last minutes okay have a great day everyone